All right, so I was able to get my hands on another kind of unicorn gun, I like to call them, you know, because they're harder to find than actual unicorns in most places. Um, but of course, I'm referring to, in this aspect, the P365. This is technically an XL model total, but again, it has some things that are going to be different with it. This is the Spectra Comp. Now, I like this pistol a lot. It's actually been my daily carry now for a little while. I've been kind of testing it out, seeing how it feels. Um, and of course, I've done a, just a little bit of upgrades to it, and we'll go over that here in a second as well. But typically, the Spectra Comp will actually come with a laser engraved frame from SIG. And, you know, I found it nice compared to the stock P365 XL. However, one thing I did just not like about it as a whole, most of theirs are kind of the curvature of the grip. Um, and, of course, it just doesn't feel like it has stippling in all, everywhere you might need it, you know. And, again, it's just personal preference. But I went with an Icarus Precision Pro Elite grip. And I definitely do not regret it. I mean, it's been the best upgrade. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. But kind of just going over everything as a whole, I mean, the P365XL kind of changed the game when it initially came out. And I have always been a fan of compensators. But one thing I don't like is essentially... Uh, having to alter your gun or tune the compensator or change different pieces of it to make sure that it works, you know. And again, compensators are adding something to the gun. But in a configuration like this, we actually have it built into the slide. And I think SIG did a great job. I've definitely noticed a reduced amount of recoil compared to some of these standard models out there, even before this frame was added. Um, but really, that can be attributed to the top portion of the slide having those cuts and the barrel actually being the same size as a regular P365. Um, so they've kind of done some SIG wizardry in there and really allowed for it to kind of be in its own category. I've seen other offerings like the Glock 43X and Arc Division and stuff like that where it's also built into the slide. But again, you know, for the size to capacity, capacity ratio that you get with this, I definitely think it's top notch. I mean, you're talking 13 rounds when you got 12 plus one um, in its kind of stock configuration, non-extended. And then you're talking 16 rounds, which would be the same as your standard Glock 19, but in a much more condensed package. How I've kind of set mine up here is we've got the Icarus grip, and of course the Spectra Comp by default is going to come with their Custom Works trigger and the barrel. It's going to be kind of in that gold nitrated color. And I'm not a huge fan of the gold. I can kind of take it or leave it, to be honest, because I found that it wears incredibly quick, uh, especially when it comes to Sig Sauer guns compared to some of their black finishes. But again, all personal preference. I wasn't going to not pick up the gun for those reasons. Some other things, too, that I've kind of looked at here that I, I really do like overall is they've done some reprofiling of the slide. The serrations are a little bit different. They are very nice and very easy to manipulate the firearm. Um, another thing, too, that I also really like is that it was easy to just drop this hollow sun on. And, of course, it still gives me kind of that lower one-third co-witness. Excuse my optic. It's very dirty. I'm going to clean it after this. But it gives kind of that lower co-witness, so just in case your dot goes out, you still have those backup irons that you can then get behind. So I like having that option, even though we live in an optics world now. It's definitely uh, my preference to always have a backup, right? And even though this is a solar dot as well, or this one actually is not a solar dot. Um, I put that on my other handgun, so double, definitely want these sights. Now, another thing too, TLR7 sub is basically, it feels like it was made for this gun. Uh, definitely works incredibly well, adds a good bit of weight with the Icarus frame, and altogether, it's been a very, very nice package. Very easy to carry all day. Um, and then on top of that, I just, I can't say enough good things. The trigger's absolutely fantastic. Um, if I, I don't have an actual gauge, if I had to guess, I would probably guess it's anywhere between... Oh, 
four and a half pounds down to the lower fours. But again, it's very consistent, very easy to pull. The reset is very tactile and I enjoy it. Another thing too, um, when we talk about the grip is this Icarus Precision Grip in particular was very nice because it's got the flared mag well. It's got double undercut, which is really nice for hand placement. I've also got a speed ledge kind of built in there with that added stippling and it is very grippy. I definitely enjoy that over the stock configuration. Um, and then overall, I, I really just, uh, I can't say enough good things about how easy this is to carry and I never feel like I'm under equipped. But we'll post some more videos after we get some more shooting done with it and just kind of go over some of my more in-depth likes and dislikes. But I just wanted to show you guys this. This is the Spectracop P365X.